Okay, what's going on guys, LSD Game here, and... Yes, I know I did it again, sorry I forgot I changed the channel to LSD, but... Back to the video. Today, well, there's a new hero out in Overwatch, Moira. She was announced a few weeks back, I didn't think she'd be on the server this quickly. Now, I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible. And now, uh, let's look at what she's like in the hero gallery. Another thing, so I'm going to check out the arcade, because apparently there's some changes to it. Okay, so Moira, she's only, she has like, your general common... Wait, no, uncommon skins, then your, um, sorry if the mic just got a bit loud, I'll just bring it close to my mouth, uh, then you got your epic skins, and then your legendaries, and one of them, yeah, that one is, a lot of people saying is reference to David Bowie, uh, yeah, let's look at emotes, the one thing I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but when she runs, she does, if not firing a weapon, she's, she does the Naruto run. If you know what the Naruto one is, well, uh, look it up yourself. And if if you want to say if her voice sounds familiar, well, if you've seen Rogue One or Episode Three Star Wars, or heck, if you've seen Star Wars Rebels, it's the voice of um, Mon Mothma. So yeah, that was one thing you may not have not known. Okay, which poses? I'm not gonna look at voice lines because they're not that good. I'm actually gonna look at the sprays as. They actually, they do actually now give like some big changes. If I can actually find, oh, okay, here we are. Of course, there are a bunch of a lot of references in these sprays. Like this one, you can obviously tell is supposed to be the thing with Jean, Captain Jean Luc Picard, sort of doing the face palm. I think that's the thing. What it is? What's the classic icon one? Spray. Now that one. I don't know if it is that one or another one. A lot of people was mentioning yeah, that one is a reference to someone from Evangelion. I can't remember the name of them though. Uh, I'll cut right back when I get the name. Yeah, back is the the person from Evangelion. Of course, is when Gendo Ikari is doing like the whole scheme thing. I also just know that this one's Dragon Ball reference power levels. So yeah, look it up. And I'm pretty sure so that's an, this is another reference for anime uh, from Akira one of the scenes in the movie of course then there are just like other sprays of course that one coincides with one Mercy one because she's she was basically the black watch version of Mercy then you got your general stuff I still haven't even completed my season 7 placement matches really can't be bothered for those uh, okay highlight intros your general ones you have coalescence which basically of course that may remind you of something there I'll show you when I go into a game later or oh, actually no not a game when I go into the practice range show you her abilities you'll notice that something seems similar with it and of course the golden weapon is basically just the gauntlets I'm just going to check is the arcade because I looked on this and it said the arcade changes ok uh... lockout elimination changes daily for free for all lockout elimination mystery heroes no limits I know what everyone's going to do no limits I'm not going to show you me doing that because it will just be chaos but what I'm going to do is go into the I don't come to loot boxes, no. Go to training, uh, practice range, and I'll show you more visibility. So I'll be back when that's happening. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, one thing I was stupid that I didn't announce is that she's a healer. And, and got a new healer, and the way her abilities work is very um, different. So she has a, with her right trigger, of course, for me on PlayStation, is a healing. And as you can see, that slowly goes down. But to and to refill it, you use her uh, quantum ability, which is which is essentially um, well, use her use her basically a primary fire mode, which is essentially a bit like some metros. That will refill up the meter for her healing. They'll show you. Yeah, but there is also another way that she can do healing, as shown here. Now, what this does is, if I fire it, it will heal people who are nearby. Uh, there is also a um, where you can do it with damage as well, like I'll show... Okay, it's really annoying, I keep thinking of me how to do a reload, but I'll show here how she can do damage with it as well, so... I still have another video which is ba a bit like Reaper's um, Shadow Step thing, I thought it was called. But it is a bit like Reaper's... 
ability which allows him to go forward. R raised form, that's what it is. Now I'll show our ability. Now it's called coalescence, but for a lot of people, people are just going to call it the Kamehameha because, well, that's what it is, essentially. It could be interpreted as a Gallic gun or something else, but I'll show you. So it can do damage and also it'll also do healing, so that's why it's also, it can be pretty good. So yeah, that is Moira. Um, it'll be pretty uh, good to see her in battle when she, when she's available in competitive. I don't think she is at the moment. That's if there's any obligation for me to do competitive. But I've just been playing Fortnite all the time. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.